Introduction Sumit has scored full marks in his mathematics test. He wants to inform his parents right away. He calls his mother at her office as soon as he comes home. Then he decides to call his father. But he realizes that he does not remember his mobile number. So he calls his mother again to get his father's mobile number. But she is busy in a meeting and does not attend his call. Sumit has no option but to wait for his father's return in the evening. He then understands how important numbers are. In this lesson, we study numbers in detail. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to Write numbers using the Indian number system. Write numbers using the international number system. Perform calculations using Abacus. Write numbers in expanded form. Identify the place value of a digit in a number. Convert numbers written in words into figures. Compare numbers. Arrange numbers in ascending and descending orders. Skip count. Indian number system. The Indian number system groups the last three digits of a number together and then groups the rest into sets of two digits each. 1000 is written as 1, 0, 0, 0. 10,000 is written as 10, 0, 0, 0. Now consider the number 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The Indian number system will group it as 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The number is read as 45,678. Consider another number, 80978. It will be written as 80, 978 in the Indian number system and read as 80,978. International number system. The international number system groups the digits into sets of three each, starting from the right. 1000 is written as 1, 0, 0, 0. 10,000 is written as 10, 0, 0, 0. 100,000 is written as 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Now consider the number 624567. It will be written as 624,567 in the international number system and read as 624,567. Let us look at another number 123890. The international number system will group it as 123,890. The number is read as 123,890. Numbers on Abacus Abacus is a tool used for calculations. It is still quite popular in the South Asian countries, especially China. It is made up of a rectangular wooden frame that contains vertical rods along which beads are slid and calculations are done. A beam divides the rectangular frame into two parts, the short upper deck and the long lower deck. Every vertical rod in the upper deck has two beads, each bead worth the value 5. Each vertical rod in the lower deck has five beads, each worth the value 1. Numbers on Abacus each vertical rod in the abacus represents a place. The rightmost rod represents the ones place, 
the rod to its left represents the tense place and so on. Let us move three beats on the lower deck of the one's rod towards the beam to represent number three. Now let us move three beats on the lower deck and one bead on the upper deck of the tense rod up. This represents 30 plus 50 which is 80. Now we move two beats in the lower deck of the hundreds rod to represent 200. So the beats positioned in the abacus represent the number 200 plus 80 plus 3 equals 283. Expanded form. Now we learn to write numbers in the expanded form. Let's begin with some examples. The number 378 is written in expanded form in the following way. 378 is equal to 300 plus 70 plus 8 is equal to 3 into 100 plus 7 into 10 plus 8 into 1. Now let us write 64,542 in the expanded form. 64,542 is equal to 60,000 plus 4,000 plus 500 plus 40 plus 2 is equal to 6 into 10,000 plus 4 into 1,000 plus 5 into 100 plus 4 into 10 plus 2 into 1. Place Values Let us learn to find the place value of a digit in a number. For example, let us find the place value of 3 in the number 3456. First, we write the number in expanded form. 3456 is equal to 3 into 1000 plus 4 into 100 plus 5 into 10 plus 6 into 1. Now we can say that the place value of 3 in 3456 is thousands. Let us find the place value of 4 in the number 7425. We write the number in the expanded form as 7 into 1000 plus 4 into 100 plus 2 into 10 plus 5 into 1. So the place value of 4 is hundreds. Numbers in words to figures. Let us now translate numbers written in words into figures. Consider the number 4632. The number in figures is 4 into 1000 plus 6 into 100 plus 3 into 10 plus 2 into 1 is equal to 4000 plus 600 plus 30 plus 2 which equals 4632. Let's try one more question. Let us translate 60,655 into figures. The number in expanded form is 6 into 1000 plus 6 into 100 plus 5 into 10 plus 5 into 1 is equal to 6,655. Larger and smaller numbers. Let's learn to identify larger and smaller numbers. We take two numbers, 4589 and 499. We can easily say that 499 is smaller than 4589 because 4589 is a four digit number, whereas 499 is a three digit number. Now let us compare two numbers with the same number of digits. For example, 3789 and 2146. 3789 is larger than 2146 because 3 is greater than 2 even though the place value of both the digits is the same. Let us compare two more numbers, 8971 and 8761. 
both are four digit numbers and the digit at the thousands place is also the same. In such a case, compare the digits at the hundreds place that is 9 and 7. Since 9 is greater than 7, we can say that 8971 is greater than 8761. Ascending and Descending Orders Once we know how to compare numbers, we can arrange them in the ascending, that is, increasing or descending, that is, decreasing order. In the ascending order, the numbers are arranged starting from the smallest number first, then the next greater number, then the next, and so on. In the descending order, the numbers are arranged in the reverse, that is, starting from the largest. Symbolically, the ascending order of numbers may be denoted by the less than symbol. For example, 390 is less than 1823, which is less than 3005, which is less than 7540. Similarly, the descending order of numbers may be denoted by the more than symbol. For example, 6583 is greater than 5678, which is greater than 2134, is greater than 1200, which is greater than 456. Skip counting. Skip counting helps us to count many things quickly. It also helps us to learn multiplication tables. Skip counting by 2 looks like this. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. It simply means we skip two places and arrive at the next number. Here, if you observe, the difference between any two adjacent numbers is the same and it is 2. We skip count by tens in the following way. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. If you notice, the difference between any two adjacent numbers is the same, that is 10. Now let us skip count by hundreds. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000. Here the difference between any two adjacent numbers is 100. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. The Indian number system groups the last three digits of a number together and then groups the rest into sets of two digits each. The international number system groups the digits of a number into sets of three each. Abacus is a tool used for calculations. Place value of a digit helps us determine its value in a number according to its position. In the ascending order, the numbers are arranged in increasing order starting from the smallest number first. In the descending order, the numbers are arranged in decreasing order starting from the largest number first. Skip counting facilitates quick counting.